Dunon Barton Rail Line is one of those pieces of public infrastructure that will assist the growth of the economy both on a national and a local level. Um, it seems to be a bit of a no-brainer and has been for nearly three decades now. Um, the Greens have got a suite of policies which cover all areas of the public good. Um, we see that road safety is a necessary uh, feature of any modern society and the Malton to Don Barton line would assist in the, in the provision of safe roads. Um, as well as that, um, steel, real, steel wheels on rails are one of the most cost and energy efficient means of transport there are. The whole economy would benefit if this came through in so many different ways. Many more opportunities become available to freight forwarders and importers once the proper heavy rail infrastructure is in place. Um, as I said, um, heavy rail is a very much cost effective means of transporting goods. Not everything can go by heavy rail, but many of the products that we see coming into Port Kembla can. And indeed many of the products that are exported out of Port Kembla at the moment come in by heavy rail. Um, sadly though, they have to use either the Sydney rail system or the Mossvale to Unandera line, which is really busting at the seams trying to cope with the modern trains that we have. It would for a start provide a much safer uh, workplace for many people who are, would still be required to use the Picton Road every day. Um, my job in particular, I travel up the Picton Road a number of times a week. Um, in the old days I can remember when you go up there at three o'clock in the morning and you'd never have your lights off high beam and now if you travel that road at the same time you never have your lights on high beam simply because of the amount of traffic that's been generated through the the welcome expansions of Port Kembla Port over the last number of years. Um, the Malton to Dumbarton line would take much pressure off the local road system, provide a much safer environment, a much cleaner environment and a much safer road system. No doubt there are some truck drivers who feel that their jobs are threatened and indeed there would be a loss of some jobs in the transport industry but then when you look at it, the Malton to Dumbarton line would provide uh, jobs in the construction of it, it would provide jobs in the regular maintenance of the line and it would provide jobs in the Port Kembla port which could then expand at an even greater rate to, uh, thanks to the completion of this line and it would provide jobs, maybe not the same jobs in the same place but I'm confident that it would provide more jobs even if they are in different areas. Many of them are in favour of it simply because we see that it will provide a better environment for us uh, as truck drivers and we see that it's a necessary part of the economy moving forward. No one wants to be without a job and yet if we continue to rely on road transport then eventually the economy will strangle itself. Well, we would see far fewer trucks running up and down Picton Road. Um, trucks, although they're a remarkably effective means of transporting goods because they can do door-to-door -door deliveries whereas a train can't, they are still uh, a heavy toll on the environment a heavy toll on the environment. We know that this was considered to be feasible in the 1980s when the New South Wales Labor Government first commenced construction of it. We know that since then Port Kembla Port has expanded greatly and is, used and is transporting a whole lot of different commodities and material that it was not at that stage. Um, I find it really difficult to believe that the Malden to Dombarton line was viable then but is no longer viable now. Now, I have every confidence that the feasibility study will find that the Malden to Dombarton rail line is a feasible project. I think that Mr Jones, well, that Mr Jones has indicated that he would never cross the floor of Parliament if the Labor caucus chose to use any findings from a feasibility study or any other sort of study to consider that they would not commit the funding to this line, then Mr Jones would support that finding. And I think that's very sad because this is a piece of infrastructure that will benefit his community especially, but the nation as a whole for years to come. I think they should just come out and say, we realise that it's important, we are going to fund it.